If you want to know how to do your crypto taxes with Kraken really fast, then in this video, we're gonna guide you through step by step so you know exactly what to do and prepare yourself for the tax season. Let's hop into our computer and then start creating an API. For coin tracking, we simply have to go to enter coins and then type in Kraken. Then we can type on the name Kraken and then we will see the instruction how it exactly works. You will be guided through it step by step, but also in this video, we're gonna show it to you. To create an API, simply click the link we provide on our website and you will be guided to the correct website to create the API. Here in Kraken, we are logged in already, so that's why we are in the correct site already and it tells you add key. All we have to do is we're gonna add the key, the key description, you can change it to coin tracking if you would like to, but you don't have to. And we have to select query funds and query ledger entries and export data. And that's all we have to click. Then we have to go and leave all the settings in here and then simply generate the key. And pretty much this is all. So now we have to click copy key transfer that into coin tracking that's the api key then we go back copy the secret type it in here and then below there we have some more options for the api if we want to change something we also can label the api and give it a start date if we want to start importing any transaction at a given date we leave all this how it is and we save this Kraken job Give it a second and then the software has accepted the job. You will see a green box with job saved and then you will see down below that your current crack and job is yeah, working and processing right now. Once done, then you will see the balance of Kraken in coin tracking. To see the balance and check if it's correct, you have to scroll up and go to reporting and then balance by exchange. There you can search for Kraken and then you will see if the balance is correct. In our case, the balance is imported correctly and we can proceed to generate the tax report. But I will show you also the way to do the CSV import. So all we have to do is go back to Kraken in this way and then make sure you don't have to crack an API data in there. So we're gonna delete that first and then we're gonna do the CSV. All right, the account is clear and we can proceed to import the CSV. All we have to do is again, just follow the instructions we provide on the website and then click the link to get to the correct site on Kraken. Once you're there, then you have to select the product, which is spot, then the format is CSV, the export type is ledger, and then select assets. We're gonna select all the assets because we want all the transactions, fields, we select all, and then the start time, we just go back the very far we can go back, check the date and then yeah, the end date is today. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Then you simply submit and Kraken will generate the export for you. Once done, it will export or download the export automatically for you and you will have it in your download folder. Then we have to go back to coin tracking and choose our file. Once you have uploaded your file into coin tracking, you will see in the progress bar that it is full and we can continue to import. Here you can check if there are any info or error messages for the transactions. We don't have anything. And here again, you have some options to enable or disable for the importer. In our case, everything is correct and we leave it as it is recommended or set by coin tracking. We start to import and we will see again a big green box with Kraken import is done. Also with the info and error message, we don't see anything odd. So we can proceed and go back to our trades. Important is if you upload CSV data, then you have to do the uh, data recalculation. You will see the red big box on the right bottom corner. 
please do recalculate your trades and that's pretty much all you have to do now you know exactly how to import your data if you are going the api route or if you are going the csv route once you have imported all your transactions then please make sure that you import all the transactions of all your different exchanges all your different wallets and make sure to check all the checks in the reporting section to make sure that there are no missing transactions or other errors or duplicates in your account then you can move on and generate the correct tax report so let's move to the tax report section if you're on the tax report side then you simply have to scroll down and choose your country in our case it is germany with the first in first out method for the tax year 2023 if you are hovering over the eye icon then you will see more information about the different categories we give you a lot of different options you can choose from for your tax report all our recommendations are already pre-selected if you choose your country. Then you have to scroll down and simply generate a new tax report. And if you don't have a lot of transactions like I do, then the tax report is created within a few seconds and you simply can load the report. Once you load your report, you will see all the important data about your transactions, how much you made, how much you lost. And if you scroll down, you will see in big orange download tax report. Here again, you have some export options and you have the option to export in PDF or Excel. Once done, then you are ready to submit your taxes. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you need anything else, please comment it down in the comment section down below and we are ready to help you. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see you in the next guide. Bye bye.